Hi, Suga. It's your girl, Risa, coming to y'all today with a cooking video. I'm getting ready to cook my dinner for today. I am going to smother some steaks, and I'm going to smother some liver. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. How's everybody doing? Where's all my stanker butts, my Jolly Ranchers? My boo babies, my honey buns, my snack cakes, my sugis, my blessings, my intentionals, whatever you consider yourself to be. Where y'all at? Welcome to all my new subscribers, all my new watchers. I hope y'all are enjoying the channel. I've been taking a break, not doing too much. But I thought, hey, I got to do this today. And uh, let me go ahead and turn the camera on. All right. You know my house is not a house without somebody interrupting. As soon as I turn the camera on, here they come. Okay, let's go. As soon as I turn the camera on, here they come. Yeah, so I got some steaks right here. A few steaks find my tongs so that I can grab them the way I want. I don't have to have the tongs, but I've been washing my hands so that my hands are just they cracking. You go back and put lotion on them because you turn around. And some of them are real um, thin. Some of these steaks are from that um, case of steaks that we bought. So we still had some. And they they thin, so they shouldn't. Hopefully, they won't be tough. And then we got a few of the filet mignons, or I just call them medallion steaks. I have a few cube steaks in here. This one's thick. I might have to cut that one up. There's a cube steak. And I don't rinse that bad well off. So I'm going to rinse this out. Well, I'm going to drain this. And I'm going to put my liver in here. So that I can already have a container to cook this in or season it in. Rinse my hands. Wash my tongs. Alright. So, we got two pans. You know, I think I'm the only one in my house that eats liver. So I'm going to do one pan with liver and then the other pan with the steak. And I'm also gonna make some mashed potatoes. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna, this pan is already on low. And I got some B-Love sauce going back in the back. Cause I haven't made it in a while and I needed to make some. We got that, we got that, we got, get, let's put some meat tenderizer. meat tenderizer. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it. just not going to let me let me <sighs> anybody want them? Y'all want them? <laughs> Y'all already know who that is. Who is it, y'all? Put it down below. You already know who that is. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not live. Okay. Nina. Well, I just said it. Hmm. Well, uh, you gave me my answer. Are you tired, Mom? Tell, don't nobody else come in my kitchen while I'm cooking. Get on. I am tired. I want to go lay down. I do. So, we got that and that. 
um, I'm going to use some chicken grease that I saved, y'all. How many of y'all do that? Just a little bit of chicken grease. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. not going to flour these, but I am going to just brown them on both sides. I just put a little bit of that on there. And I'm just going to brown them on both sides and then I'll take them out and then I'll make my gravy. Once I get them all browned up. Once I get them all browned up. So this meat tenderizer has salt, sugar, cornstarch, um, and something for what they use to tenderize. So I just, you know, shake a little bit of that on there. That one is going to be for my liver. Let's go ahead and turn these over. I haven't put any salt. And black pepper will be added at the end. I'm not a a huge fan of a lot of black pepper, but I, I like it just to just the right amount for my food. Now my other my husband on the other hand, that's the pepper man. That dude there. I didn't used to eat a lot of pepper until I started dating him. Mm -hmm. Now it's the whole habit. These little thin steaks, they're not gonna take long to do what it do. So I'm not gonna cook them all the way through. I got a cube steak in here. That one is still on low because I'm not ready for that one yet. Put the rest of these little ones in here. And this one can come out. See how that brown just look like it just boiled a little bit. Don't want to do it too long because I don't want it to be like shoe leather. come back to temperature so what I'm gonna do is there we go and I can slide this one over so I'll be back y'all in just a few minutes
Let that cook for a few minutes. Boil all of that extra water out. The cooking sounds of a kitchen. It goes on in the kitchen, y'all. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. We cooking with gas now. Well, I love these little yellow claws I got from Walmart. I've liked these better than, you know how I know some people be crazy about the ones you get from Dollar Tree? Mm-mm. This grease ain't playing fair, I tell you that. Some of y'all rinse out rings off. I don't. There's no dirt on it. There's no need to. Not for me. And then I know some of y'all might be squeamish right now. Say, oh, I won't eat out of my house. It's okay. There was an older man. We used to have a store on the corner that we used to go to back in the day when we were young. And he used to live in the back of the store, this older man. And he would always, we come in the store, he would pick up raw onions and peel them and literally eat them, y'all. I was like, oh my word, do that not burn your mouth? No. He enjoyed it. So now we're going to take these out. Put these onions down in there. So that they can continue to cook.
Okay. Now, I'm going to switch eyes. Pick this one up and slide this one over. That's kind of down on low. Okay. So we're going to let that keep cooking. Turn you up a little bit. And we don't need you to, to boil. Okay. Let's slide y'all back just a little bit. There's both hands. So we're going to leave these onions in here to just let them keep cooking. And I'm going to put, I'm going to let them cook a little bit more and then I'm going to add um, my liquids and then I'll add my cornstarch mixture. Because, well, Galen, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and let that be for that. So, what I have is, I have some water and some chicken, chicken uh, bouillon in here. And I'm going to add some more water. Since my husband don't like flour, we're going to make the stuff for that. So I have a beefy onion soup mix. And we're going to add to this liquid. The whole pack. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of cornstarch. I can't find my tablespoon. Here it is. Just in the nick of time. Level it off. One. Two, I'm gonna do three. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in here. Now it's gonna pop because this is water being added to oil. Y'all be careful. Now, I know that's not the color of dark gravy. No, it's not. But we got some, if you have some kitchen bouquet, or even if you have some brown and seasoning, you can add that to it. Okay. Get this stirred together. We're going to let it come back to a boil. And then we're going to taste it to see if we need any salt. I do know that I am going to add some black pepper. And once it comes to a boil, then I can add my kitchen bouquet or my brownie seasoning. Now, I could have, if I would have been doing this with flour, I could have let it cook until it got darker than that. Okay, so we got that going. Now, I'm going to slide my meat out of the way. liver right here. So what we're going to add to the liver is onion powder. Y'all know I love onion powder. Okay. 
we're going to add a little bit of salt. Just a sprinkle. Y'all sprinkle according to what you can handle, okay? So that's that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up with my hand. Now, you see that's coming to a boil. That's coming to a boil. I'm going to stir that up so that I can see if I need to add any water to it because I don't want it too, too thick. So I'm going to get a spoon and I'm going to try it. Lord have mercy. No salt needed. No salt needed. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, but I am going to add just a little bit more water. Because I see that getting a little chunky. Add about eight ounces of water. Or do four at a time. And let that come back to a boil. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting my liver in here. Season side down. And I don't have it on high. I have it on number four because I don't want to cook this too fast. Okay. So I have one, two, three. I have four pieces left. Let me rinse my hand. So we're going to sprinkle a little salt on this side. It's already starting to get a little firm. You don't want to cook it too hard. Well, at least I don't. Because I want it to finish simmering in my gravy. So for this pot right here, Gonna put our meat. Slide it all in. There. Get them all down in there. Ooh, baby. Okay. I'm gonna let that come to a boil. I'm gonna use the same weight. I'm gonna just rinse it off. For my liver. Go ahead and take it out. Now, if you like yours fried a little bit harder, then you go ahead and do that. Come up a little bit. And let's put a little salt on this. This side here. Not easy to pick up. There we go. This going in the trash. Okay. Let's put a 
put a little salt on this side. Okay. And we got everything situated. Now I'm going to have to cut up my onion so that I can make my gravy for this. Um, that has come to a boil. I'm going to pour my browning seasoning in here just to turn it a little bit darker. This. We'll let that spread. I'm going to let this cook for a little while longer with the lid off. And then we're going to turn it down. And we're going to let it continue to simmer. Yep. It's going to fall apart then. Turn it up just a little bit. Everything is bubbling. It's bubbling. Okay. Go ahead and get our onions started. almost got this where we want it to be y'all we're going to take this piece out these are cooking now I'm going to sprinkle some flour Now, I do need a little bit more oil, so I'm going to get that. That's maybe about three tablespoons, or probably even more. Just enough to get that flour all incorporated. Now at this point, I like to shake 
a little black pepper, a little black pepper, a little pepper. You add the kind of pepper that you like, okay? We're gonna let this keep going. So now with this one, I'm going to turn it down. I have it on what we call what would be like medium high, and I'm going to turn it to almost to um, medium low. Got a few bell peppers that I cut up just broke in pieces because I bought a lot. Um, they were on clearance. They had them for dirt cheap. So I'm going to put some in the other pot. I'm not going to put them in this pot. I already washed them. Still may have a few seeds on it, won't hurt nobody. Wash them before I cut them up. Y'all see that flower turning brown? That's what you want to watch for. Now when you're making a roof for um what is that gumbo? You, know, you gotta watch it. nice right there. So let me get some water. Gonna pour it in. Now we're gonna let that come to a bubble, a boil, so we can see how thick it is. Now, not everybody likes real thick gravy, so it determines on how thick you like your gravy. All right, y'all, let me find my lid and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so as you can see, my gravy has started to thicken. Now, I want to thin it out just a little bit. I'm going to turn it down some. Can y'all see that? Okay. Thin it out just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Because for me, 
I like my gravy to have a little tooth to it to stick to the rice. Kind of thick, but not too thick. It's such a They call you all day by promotions and all of that jazz. So that's going, I'm going to sprinkle um, a little bit more black pepper and I'm going to taste it. To me, when I use flour to make gravy, it's something about the little accent of pepper in that one. The other one, I don't care for it too much. But like when I use flour and onion and water, oh. It just does something to me, y'all. So let's taste it. Mm, needs a little bit more salt. Okay, now I'm going to add my meat. Y'all can still see some of the red. That's why we got to let this simmer. It's not done all the way. Not by a long shot. Y'all see that? Get it down. Get on down in there. You got to take a bath in that gravy. In that gravy. Now, for me, whatever juice is in my plate, I add it to my pan. Try not to waste it. Okay. Everybody's in there to work together. Yes, sir. So we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to check it again, and I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys, so my food is finished. It's been finished. We've already been eating. As you can see, <laughs> they've been tanning this one up. This is the one that I made with the bell peppers and the cornstarch, no flour. And the Lipton beefy onion soup mix. Okay, so that's that one. And that's the one with the steaks. This is the one with the liver, um, the onions, and made with flour. Okay, salt and a little pepper. And here is my plate. And I'm getting ready to dig in. Do y'all hear me? Yes, I'm using the paper plate, eliminating the process of having to do a whole lot of dishes. Okay, so I thank y'all for watching. Go on and get your eat on, y'all. Y'all know I'm getting ready to do it. Drop down and get my eat on, y'all. Yes, I am. Thank y'all for watching. Hugs, kisses, and many blessings. Bye, guys.